So this falsetto has two ways of using the al Thapur technique. One is the standard, more modern way, where you play a single note followed by the chord from the subsequent string. For example, the fifth string with a single note. And then from the fourth string with a chord. And then up again. So the other way is to play the single note, let's say, on the fifth string. And then the downstroke from the same string. So one way would be... The second one, Sabikus used to use a lot and makes a lot of his stuff harder to play because it's more demanding on the thumb. Anyway, this one's got both, so I'll do it slowly. string to the second and then here's the most challenging part is the nup stroke I've seen many people play this with the index finger on the top string but the way Sabikas does it is a very contained up stroke with the thumb it's almost like from the second string but in any case you'd be blocking the top string so even if you play it, if you do a free stroke with the thumb and then here it's not that sound but so we have one from the F three notes and then the contained up stroke from the E from the D sharp three times and then the third one on the up stroke pull off So this one, because it's got lots of phrases of twos and not threes, I prefer to count this one in the actual phrasing. So if it's in twos, it's the second half of the compass. For example, 12 and 7 and fits into a 12 overall so one could count 12 and 1 and 2 
previous way is better because it's just 12, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 7, 8, 11, 12, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, diddly, 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 di